Hey, happy Tuesday. About to make some breakfast around here. We're just getting going with the day. Abby is over here. She's doing our little girls' hair, working hard. <laughs> and uh, we're just gonna get rolling with the day. She's gonna bring our two little foster girls to the early learning center. And then I'll be heading to work next. And uh, yeah, you get to see a little bit of our life, or my life, I guess. Stay tuned though, have some new things from opening up. You already know what it is. Got a tracking number, it's supposed to show up today. So we'll definitely be looking at some old heat. <laughs> They're not that old, but you know, a couple years. Yeah, I haven't had a 1.0 in a while. Sold them, and uh, yeah, it's good to have a pair back even though they're not brand new. I should be looking for like brand new pairs, but it's hard to find, so yeah. These are lightly worn, so just try it out, right? <laughs> we'll find out. And I'm at work, but I've been here for quite a few hours now. My tea has been gone for a long time. Like, yeah, I'm just bringing this cup home. But I'm gonna go on a little shopping trip now. I'm gonna go get some candy for the Easter eggs that we're gonna do on Easter Sunday morning. And yeah, it's gotten way warm out here. Um, frosty in the morning, but obviously not frosty anymore. Looks like most of the snow is going away but we still got this big pile from when we shoveled the gravel so a little bit of a tight squeeze to get into the truck here Ooh, it's icy all right let's go get some candy gotta bring my cup right All right, we got everything in here, and now we're gonna head back to the church. I'll drop this stuff off, uh, finish a few little things, and then I will see you guys next at my house. So, uh, yeah, my package just said it's here already earlier today, so yeah, we'll definitely be opening that thing up, and I'll talk to you guys then. Hey, we back home, got a package in the mail. Very happy to uh, have another pair of these in the collection. Uh, these did come from somebody who has sold a lot of sneakers, so uh, I'm not too worried about authenticity. Seems like these are probably um, an authentic pair, unlike some of the other pairs that I've gotten in the past, and also some of them fairly recently. Um, if you guys follow the vlog, um, this tape job though, this is intense, like, oh my goodness, this is thick stuff, I'm like cutting through the cardboard, the parts of it, okay, maybe not, but, got it open. Alright, let's go ahead and let's break into this box, you've got the Ultra Boost box right away, and my arms, on the side, oh man, so cool. Even has a cool picture. Here is the label for all of my label people, people who want to see that label. Check legit. Check and see if theirs are legit. This is what a legit label looks like. Looks good to me based on other labels I've seen. And it's even got that little silver Ultra Boost 1.0 right there. Let's go ahead and break into this sneaker. There they are. These are not dead stock, but they are 
fairly close. They're not too far off. They've been worn a bit though. This shoe looks like it doesn't have any major holes or anything that I can see, honestly. It looks like they took really good care of it. Smells like a new shoe, so they took care of that. The inside, the second shoe, also looks really clean. Really, really clean. I just really enjoy that 1.0 um pattern it is just a great pattern on the ultra boost definitely probably my favorite ultra boost insole on these looks like they're just all black just i mean i'm sure it said ultra boost on there at one point but it doesn't anymore actually his boost here looks like he's painted it yeah so that might be one reason why they look a little nicer than maybe some other people who have some old Ultra Boost 1.0s. Uh, my last pair was pretty beat and these ones look really nice compared to them. So that's, yeah, that's probably why. Cause it, the nubbies on the bottom of this, like in some places, they're like pretty much gone there. As you can see, it looks like he cleaned the bottoms really well. They probably went through the washing machine a few times before they got sent to me. And uh, I would have gone through and like pulled off all this glue stuff. There's like, Whatever, I don't know. It's like weird glue flakes or whatnot. Oh well, let's go ahead and let's do a shoe breakdown here for ya. I'm not sure if you guys have seen a shoe breakdown for the Ultra Boost, but if you haven't, here it is. A lot of people are getting into the shoe game and this is the number one shoe. I would say for me, it's actually kind of losing momentum because this foam is getting produced on a lot of new sneakers it used to be really limited back when it was first coming out now this boost foam which is crazy comfortable feels like walking on clouds it is more available so these aren't as crazy expensive anymore um, i picked these up for under retail so um which you know is fair since they are used and this is a all prime knit upper there is mesh back here on this pair because they're the first rendition. The soles on this one are not very durable. This is pre-Continental. Continental is a tire company and they started making the soles of the Ultra Boost after um, Adidas got a lot of reports that this specific model was uh, wearing out really fast on the bottom. So um, that's something to keep in mind if you're thinking about getting an older Ultra Boost 1.0 is does it have a Continental sole? If it does not, then you're not gonna get as much life out of it. I don't really care. I just wanted this this pattern and this shoe. I don't wear shoes till they go crazy old, so I'm not as worried about it. So uh, this was an easy pickup for me when I saw the price. So uh, yeah, this toe box pattern is why a lot of people like the 1.0 so much. It just has a cool look to it. Just nice and clean and just, I don't know, it's just trendy. That's all it is. <laughs> it's just trendy. It looks good with joggers, looks good with tight jeans. Does not look good with boot cuts, I have to tell you. Um, yeah, and then you, I mean, I guess I can go into the other parts. You do have a torsion system right here that lo helps lock in your foot into the shoe. You have the heel cup locks your foot in, the cage TPU locks your foot in, and you got your lacing system. This is a one booty upper. As you can see, like it's all one piece, no detached tongue. So it's really nice to get your foot in there. This opening does open enough really well. It's almost already open enough to just throw your foot in there so it doesn't stretch too much more than that. But yeah, they slip on and off really, really fast. Definitely don't need to lace unless you're gonna be running or something. You can pretty much just leave them unlaced unless you bought a really big pair and you need to lace them because you're swimming around. Definitely makes you think about the hyper adapt and like, okay, they've got their self lacy, like you wait for it. But these ones you slip them on and it's already formed to your foot. Like it's like a sock, like putting on a sock except for it's a lot nicer materials than a sock would be. This primate is very durable, even though it's like nice and, and loose and whatnot. It's not stretchy on this pair really. The 1.0s weren't really stretchy prime knit. They were just breathable and they're really nice. They resemble the 4.0 prime knit. This is the 4.0. The prime knit pattern on this one is kind of similar. Um, as you can see, they have this toe box pattern that comes here. But on the 1.0, it's a lot more visible. On the 4.0, they had to add these pinstripes, which I'm not necessarily a fan of. It's keeping me away from a lot of the 4.0s, but it is what it is. I'm not the designer. I don't work for Adidas, so I don't get to make any calls. So I just kind of go with what they make. And uh, I just decide what I like from all the companies, honestly. So 
A lot of people are saying that these are similar. I'm sure these were modeled after these for the most part. And uh, they just kind of made some improvements because this one is very stretchy. Very stretchy primate on the 4.0. Compared to the 1.0, it is, uh, yeah, pretty stretchy. But it's not very stretchy compared to the 3.0 Ultra Boost. The 3.0 Ultra Boost is much stretchier, and I don't... Oh, here we go. I have a 3.0 right here, and I feel like this one is the most stretchy out of all of them. It's just, like, crazy. Just so much um, stretchy, moving your toes around room. And it's all enclosed, so this is a warmer Ultra Boost. The 3.0 is the warmest. Then you got the 2.0, which I don't have. The 1.0 and the 4.0 are roughly about the same. I would say maybe, maybe the 1.0 is a little cooler. Just because I haven't really worn the 4.0 yet. And um, it looks like it's pretty much a tighter knit, a different type of knit that's a little cozier than the 1.0. So I would say it's probably going to be warmer as well. Um, yeah, the 4.0 versus the 1.0. So there is the sneaker. Very dope. And let's go ahead. Let's take these and let's throw them off feet. back let's go ahead and get into the Bible most controversial part of my channel we're in the book of John inside the Bible on chapter 6 and I wanted to read you guys a passage that spoke to me personally today it's in verses 16 through 20 that evening Jesus's disciples went down to the shore to wait for him but as darkness fell and Jesus still hadn't come back they got into the boat and headed across the lake towards Capernaum. Soon a gale force wind swept down upon them and the sea grew very rough. They had rowed three or four miles when suddenly they saw Jesus walking on the water towards the boat. They were terrified, but he called out to them, Don't be afraid, I am here. Then they were eager to let him into the boat and immediately they arrived at their destination. This scripture is really cool just because I'm just like thinking about times in my life where it seems like Things are just going really difficult. Things are just really hard. Things are just not going well at all for me. And then God comes in. And at first I'm like, oh no, it's it's a ghost. Like it's something bad. It's not a good thing. But then it turns out that it's actually God showing up in your situation and making things work out for your good. Sometimes when we're going through struggles, we like seriously just need to be ready for God to move. And we can't just be calling things out as not God because it could be something that looks bad on the outside, but then when it actually happens, when it actually takes full effect, 
it's something good and something that helps us and it's and it's God working and we didn't even realize it because we thought it was like in this story the disciples thought Jesus was a ghost like we think that the bad thing that's that's actually Jesus we think it's you know a ghost or something and it's actually something that's going to totally change our situation and make it work for the better so that's all i got for you guys today if you're struggling through something just be ready for god to step in and help you out pray to him talk to god he definitely wants to talk back to you i'm so thankful for all you guys thanks for everybody who watches to the end of the video you guys are awesome for all my subscribers and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button you know you know, let's make Jesus famous, people. Let's show that you can have a hypebeast lifestyle. Like, you can be into fashion. You can have a resale business like I do. Like, I'm not even going to play. Like, a lot of these shoes, I, I just got to sell them. Like, that's just how it is. I want hype fashion. I want to get all the newest stuff. But I've got to sell it in order to buy more new stuff. That's just how it goes until, like, I become a millionaire. Or so I don't know. Maybe, maybe then I'll keep more of them. But we'll see. Anyways, I love you all again. God bless you. This is me, Stefan Long. Another day, signing out.